So whilst I thoroughly enjoyed playing New Super Mario Bros Wii, one thing I really didn't like was the underwater levels. I don't know if it was the mechanics of the movement or what, but I just really didn't enjoy them and I was really bad at them too. So to get started with our AI, we're going to need to give it some information about the game itself. The simplest way to do this is just by giving it the screen so it has all the information a human would have. We're actually going to give it four frames though, not just one. This is so that it can infer a sense of motion because from a single frame it's kind of hard to tell what's really going on. So next we need to give our AI a way to interact with the game. The easiest way to do that is through actions and I'm going to give our AI four different actions it can use. Looking at our Wii remote, the four actions I've chosen is the left button which is going to move the AI left, the right button which is going to move it right, the two button which makes Mario do his little breaststroke and causes him to move upwards, and then the fourth action is a mixture of two. It's both the right action and the two button, as this allows Mario to move in an upwards right motion and is a really useful action to have. The last thing we need to add in before we can set our AI loose is a reward signal. This is what's going to guide our AI and it's going to determine what behavior the AI decides to learn. The reward signal I've chosen is simply rightwards motion. So every time the AI moves a bit further right on the screen, it's going to get some reward. The reason for this is to encourage the AI to go full speed runner and just try and finish the level as fast as possible. It's even going to encourage the AI to miss things like mushrooms in order to just move to the right as fast as it can. Finally, we're going to create a neural network, which is what our AI really is. This network is then going to take an image from the game and it's going to output four different values, one for each action it can take. This value is a prediction of how much reward the AI thinks it's going to get if it takes that action. So for example, if an AI thinks it's going to get a lot of reward for taking a given action, it might rate it quite a high number, whereas if it thinks it's going to die, it will give it a low number, like minus one. The AI then selects the highest number, or the action that gives it the most reward, and that's the action that actually gets used in the game. By interacting with the game for many, many hours, the AI is able to learn how to predict what reward it will get really well, and it's able to then choose the action which it thinks will give it the best reward, resulting in the best gameplay. With all that out the way, let's let our AI get on with training.